In Gone Baby Gone, two Boston-era detectives investigate a little girl's kidnapping, which ultimately turns into a crisis both professionally and personally. This movie is based off a novel. I think Gone Baby Gone was Ben Affleck's first mainstream movie that he ever directed. And in case you guys may or may not know, Ben Affleck is a director slash actor. So he's both sides. Sometimes he's just an actor. Sometimes he's just a director. And other times he can be both. Such as Argo, which I also reviewed. If you want to check out my review of Argo, it's in the description down below. Now this movie is directed by Ben Affleck, but he is not in the movie. However, Casey Affleck, who is his little brother, his younger brother I may say, is actually the main character in the movie. Now you guys may be wondering, is this really necessary because, you know, Casey Affleck is Ben Affleck's younger brother and just because he's his younger brother, he's now like the main character of the movie? Not necessarily. It's because Casey Affleck actually portrays the character in the movie well. Now, I have not read the novel book that this movie is based off of, but uh, I think the movie is based off the guy named Dennis Lehane, whoever that guy is. Whoever that guy is, he wrote the novel. And I have not read the book, I don't know if the book is called Gone Baby Gone, or whatever it's called, but if you have read the book, and you know what kind of a book I'm talking about, what do you think about the book? And I would love to know, for anyone who's seen the movie and read the book, which one do you think is the better? The book or the movie? I wouldn't be surprised if people said the book, because books are usually a lot better than what the movies usually are. But either way, moving into the movie, I thought the movie was great, I didn't love it, but I was really, really curious to know what was the first mainstream movie that Ben Affleck really directed. This is not the first movie he's ever directed in his life, but this is the first one that actually came out in theaters and, you know, became big out there. And this is kind of like where it all started with Ben Affleck. Casey Affleck, I've never really seen him in any movies before. Morgan Freeman is also in the movie, and I think Morgan Freeman is a badass. However, he's not that much in the movie. I wish he was a bit more into the movie, but, you know, the movie's not really mainly about him, but it kind of is. Now the movie was pretty exciting. Sometimes the movie kind of felt like it was about the Dark Knight. It was kind of had the feeling about, okay, now I feel like the movie's going to end. And then it's like, nope, it's not the ending of the movie. This is like the first half of the movie. And it's like, oh, okay, I have to watch another an hour or something like that. And it's like, oh, we're getting close to the ending of the movie. But then it's like, nope, it's not the ending. This had a lot of it. But it did it in a really well way. Dark Knight, it felt exhausting and tired of that because you felt it was like the same thing all over in my opinion. In Gone Baby Gone, it didn't feel like that. I actually wanted more. It teased me. It wanted more. I was like, no, I hope the movie doesn't end now because I want more. I'm not going to spoil what the ending of Gone Baby Gone is, but there should be two alternative endings in the movie. I don't know if there is, but I don't think there are. In that case, there should be alternative endings. I'm not going to spoil what the endings are, but for anyone who's seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. Either Casey Affleck or the wife. I'm just going to say it like that. Just go watch the movie before the movie is gone, baby. Gone. Get it? Gone, baby. Okay, I got to stop. Anyways, I'm going to give the movie a 7 out of 10. I thought it was a really great film. However, I didn't love it, but I didn't expect to love it. As a matter of fact, I was expecting it to be kind of average, you know, just an okay film. But it was actually really exciting. Sometimes I felt like I've seen something like this before, but I was totally okay with it because, you know, I, I thought the movie was pretty good. So I liked the acting a lot, and I liked the story a lot. And uh, yeah, overall, I do recommend it. So for anyone who's a big Ben Affleck fan, I do recommend seeing this movie. Maybe you'll love it. Maybe you'll hate it. I don't know. It's totally up to you. I liked it for that matter, and I definitely do recommend it. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys, and uh, take care.